questions and comments. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Government House Leader. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, think of the improvement of the quality of life for the thousands of young people that are going to have the opportunity to gain employment through companies like the VW plant, the Canada's largest manufacturing uh, plant, Madam Speaker, 200 uh, football fields could fit into it, not to mention the, the Honda plant. We're not alone. Not only does the, the Liberal government see that, so does the progressive Conservative government in Ontario, because they are also supporting these two initiatives. We are supporting industries and yes it does cost money can the member from the reform party tell us why it is that they oppose this type of investments when we see progressive conservatives getting behind it the honorable for Barry in this bill thank you uh, madam speaker and uh, i thought i uh, made a, a pretty substantive argument as to why uh, in some cases this budget uh, was not going to work for canadians uh, and if the honorable member wants to sit here and hurl insults, uh, that's his prerogative to do. The fact is that we don't know. We don't know. In the absence of seeing any of the contracts that have been signed, uh, either through Stellantis or Volkswagen, the only thing we know that uh, there are billions and billions of government subsidies that are being applied to these plants, on the credit card, by the way, because again, uh, we are at uh, $1.4 trillion in debt. Uh, and just last week, the finance minister announced that she wanted to increase that debt ceiling by another $295 billion to $2.1 billion. Uh, why doesn't the honourable, why doesn't the government provide confidence for Canadians and show just where, where that work is going to come from? Because all we're hearing right now is that there's a lot of temporary foreign workers, non-Canadians, that are going to be working in that plant, those plants. So show us the proof, Madam Speaker. That's all we ask for.